Hi, this is Joel Clausen from AppBoy.com. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing Digital Comics by Madcap Studios. Ebooks are becoming more and more popular every day, whether you like it or not. Even Apple has now jumped on the bandwagon with his iBooks app on the iPad, and the same app soon available on the new iPhone 4.0 software. Along with books, comics have also become a popular thing to view on electronic devices. Digital Comics is a comic reading app available for the iPhone and iPad that is initially free, but if you want more than the five free comics available, you can buy more for 99 cents each. The app came out around a month ago and has been fairly successful because of some unique properties which I'll get to later. There are two viewing modes. You can view page by page with the scrolling bar filled with page thumbnails underneath. This method isn't very useful unless you want to manually scroll and zoom in and out around the page. The second way to view is panel mode, which guides you from panel to panel, viewing them in the correct order, timed perfectly for each slide depending on the length of text. This is where the unique aspects of the app come in. When you come across a slide with action, such as fighting, gunshots, or explosions, the screen will flash brightly and vibrate. Only with the iPhone, of course. You are also able to change the speed of the transitions and page duration if you find them too slow or too fast. I found them a little too slow for my liking and was able to perfect the speed to my own reading speed. In the in-app store, you can sort through the comics by title, date, free or paid comics, and it's all very easy to figure out. Comics take around 2 minutes to download, depending if you're on Wi-Fi or 3G, but overall it's a very quick experience. Digital Comics is a great app that does exactly what it says it does. If you're a comic fan and like independent comic companies, you should definitely try this app out. Appboy gives Digital Comics a 5 out of 5 score. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Be sure to visit blog.appboy.com for more app reviews, news, and interviews. Also, subscribe to the AppBoy blog YouTube channel for future app reviews.